Hi everybody, Robert here. Today we want to look at parametric uh, relations. So let's draw, drag this down to the part. Uh, we want to go and open up a new part. So let's go do a 2D sketch and let's select the XY plane. Now, once this plane is selected, what we want to do here at this point, we want to do a two part rectangle here. Just a simple two part rectangle. So I'm going to just go and go here, rectangular two point, and anywhere, just draw because we're going to measure it anyway. So let's just, uh, that's fine. Now let's do some dimensions. Let's make this, uh, and let's add a circle in here as well. We're going to put it right about there. So now let's go and do dimension this. This is going to be a 5 by 3 square rectangle. It's 5 in this space. And over here, we want to go with 3. And as far as our circle, we want to just align this to the center point. So we got to sort of, I didn't want the dimension, sorry about that. We're going to select this guy and just drag him right to that point. Once it hits that point, you'll notice it'll pop right in there. So now there's our square, 5 by 3. But no, let's not proportion, so let's go and do some more dimensioning. So from this point to here, it should be, let me undo that, I want it. So I'm going to go from this point to the center. Let's make this half a five, which is two and a half. Okay. And then from this point to this side, we want to make this one and a half inches. Okay, so now there we have our circle and our rectangular shape that we want to use here. So what we like to do now is basically just go in here and let's show you how the parametric relations work. So let's go ahead and dimension our center, our circle. And now with circle, you can do we can do a radius so or diameter. So you can right click here and go dimension type. It's defaulting to diameter, and that's really what I want. But you can do a radius, so I'm gonna go with diameter, and just leave it right there. And I want to edit this to one. So there we have our shape. So now let's go ahead and let's change these dimensions around. Let's go and change the overall to six here. And let's change our, our height to 3.6. And as you can see, we've got a, it's not proportioned and we want to do some the parameters to, to make this guy proportionate and make it work. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's undo these two here back to our original shape. Now, what happens here is this. <clears throat> let's select our, let's edit this dimension right here. And then while it's selected, let's go and select this one. And let's divide by two. Now as you can see our little equation right here, fx is 2.5. Now let's do the same thing for this one. And let's pick up this one. 
And let's divide this by 2. And click finish. So what we have here, we have equations for these two that is controlled by these, the overalls. Okay, so now, um, now let's go into our parameters here on the Manage tab. Click Parameters. And right here where you have this one inch value, let's click this one here. And let's make this D1-3. And as you can see, that's all we need there. And let's say done. Okay, now let's go in here and have a look and see what happens if we change the length and width again. So let's make this 6. Let's make this 3.6. So now we've got control of it, and that's how you do this. It's pretty simple. Um, so at this point, let's go in here and let's extrude this guy. I'll show you some measurement commands here. We're going to do extrusion. Let's uh, zoom all. Let's make this extrusion quarter of an inch. Let's click OK. So there's our shape. And so now what we can do here, that's, at this point, you might want to save this file. So I'm just doing a quick save here. You know, just, I don't want to call this plate. And I'll go save. Now, once that's done, let's go out here and let's look at uh, using your measuring tools here. So under the uh, inspect ribbon here, select measure. Now, the measure, all you have to do is say, let's pick this line right here. And there's our length. Okay, now um, now let's go in here and pull and, and, and let's see how we can do some other things here. Uh, on the advanced settings, we've got these other values here. So let's drag this down to the, the uh, dual units and let's make this millimeters. And then we can also Drop this precision down. And let's make this to four decimal places. Now let's click the right hand corner here in the measure command. Let's click this point. And let's click this corner here. And there you have the, the, the another distance. So Pretty straightforward and easy how you do that. <clears throat> now let's go and look at uh, view. And let's look at our wireframes here. So visual style wireframe. And let's select uh, okay. Eh, let's just let's Let's just select something here. Um, let me just escape that. Now let's go with this one here. Let's go back into the measure, inspect tab, measure. Let's measure from this space to here. And there's another dimension. That's the dimension from the the X dimension, X direction dimension, which is three inches. Now let's right click and just do a restart. And let's just do this. Let's click, make one more measurement. Let's click the face. 
and the circle, and we have our radius. So uh, practice on those guys, do a few, and get used to doing these, because these are kind of important. Just want to show you this basic, quick little exercise on parametric, parametric relations. And uh, how the more measured tools work. So, hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I have more videos in Rivet, Navisworks, and Inventive. Thanks again, and everybody be safe. Bye.